What's up YouTube, it's Corey McKinnon here. I've been investing for close to 20 years and today I'm actually in front of my very first property that started it all. Right now I have close to 100 doors in my portfolio and I've got five amazing tips that can really help you get started or scale your portfolio as a real estate investor. So let's jump right into that first one here. Now the reason I decided to make this video here is because real estate investing has really changed here in the past couple of years. We're in 2024 right now and what worked five years ago or 19 years ago when I started doesn't necessarily work today Day, but the fundamentals do and some of these lessons are very fundamental so the first one is don't over renovate the units okay this is in the north end of london ontario and since i was living in the back of this building i thought that everybody's unit needed to be renovated at the same level as mine was all right so when you're buying investment properties even if they're in nice neighborhoods just renovate them at a rental grade level you can still get a lot of great finishes when it comes to rental grade so it doesn't have to be super high-end like granite and the most expensive trim kits and the most expensive windows and everything like that go above average but you don't need to go top high high end one of my properties i actually bought really expensive windows from a very great company but i didn't necessarily need to spend all that much right i spent forty thousand dollars when doing windows on the entire property when i could have gotten it all done for 25 or 30 so don't over renovate next point is it's actually okay to have unit turnover these days when i was first investing i was actually looking for the criteria my tenants that you know are you actually going to stay in this unit for two or three years because i didn't want to be re-renting all of my units every single single year but that's when real estate was a lot more flat we weren't getting the appreciation or the inflation that we're getting these days so now what I'm actually looking for is we're always looking for fairly top rents but we do want our units turning over because literally in a couple of years it can make a big difference in the rent so something that rents for $1,200 today could rent for $1,400 a couple of years from now that does a lot for your bottom line when you're getting your house appraised or you're building appraised when they look at it on a cap rate but most importantly it's very difficult to keep up with the small rent raises that are allowed here in Ontario so it's okay to have tenant turnover it will really benefit you as a landlord all right next point here gang it is important to have systems when it comes to your properties here including things like parking and it's actually okay to charge for parking so don't ever expect that the tenants know exactly what to do you could have a verbal conversation with them but they're gonna forget you could put it on paper they're gonna forget if you label it the chances of them forgetting way way decreases now to add on to that when i first bought this property i wasn't charging for parking okay i was just saying oh everybody here gets a parking spot and some people didn't use their parking spots some people overuse them i just found that it turn into such a free-for-all and parking is worth something make sure that you're always charging what you're worth when it comes to being in business but specifically as a real estate investor here okay so right now a parking spot here rents for anywhere between 50 to 75 dollars and you can actually make a separate agreement for parking so let's say if that person you want to give them a rent raise or the annual rent raise is flat that year you can just raise the limit or the price of their parking spot because if it's a separate contract it's not necessarily tied to their rental agreement so have systems for everything it will really support you on your journey if you want to scale to more properties as a real estate investor. All right, here, next point, gang, is that buying a high quality asset makes a difference. So this one in particular, I would rate this as an A-level income property asset. And there's a lot of people out there going for value these days, and there's nothing wrong with value. However, when you start to go from A to B, which I still buy in, but then going to C and D parts of town, which is where you're gonna get into more crime, more drug use, and more maybe inability for people to pay for your rentals, it just can be a race to the bottom. So when you buy an A-level asset like this, this was challenging for me to buy this actually stretched me a lot back in the day i bought this for four hundred and twenty thousand dollars back in 2005 but in today's numbers that's almost tripled even just my down payment i need to come up with a 25 percent down payment that was one hundred and seven thousand dollars back in the day which is easily the equivalent of a quarter million dollars these days so when you buy a quality assets they will appreciate a lot more in turn you can actually do that money refinance it and go buy other properties with it which is what i've been able to do with this one here many times over so we've refinanced it multiple times it's been really served us well and i really do want to hold this property for you know 20 years to come and hand it down to my kids so buying quality matters even if it's going to stretch you a little bit in the beginning okay gang and then for my last points here i've actually got a couple for you as i always advise people you got to make money on the buy i actually made quite a bit of money on the buy here this was listed on the market it was like an unfinished burr and for people who don't know what the burr is that's when you buy a property you renovate it you re-rent it you refinance it and you repeat that process okay so it was about 80 to 85 percent done i came in i got a deal on the buy i finished the renovations and then all of a sudden the value jumped up right so i unlocked the value in the property so make sure that you're making money on the buy it is so important and then the last one is you know in today's market with the different rental cycles and the different times of the year you don't necessarily need to fight tooth and nail over every single 25 dollar increment when it comes to the rent i think it's actually a lot more important just to keep your units rented and if that difference in 25 or 50 dollars is going to make you have a vacancy it is okay in the winter months or the different off seasons to give a little bit of a discount to get that great tenant in there when 
you have that awesome tenant profile, it's okay to give them a little bit of a deal because it's gonna be less hassles, less headaches for you as an investor. And that is very, very important. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. We're always making content so you can get further ahead faster as a real estate investor. If you ever want help navigating the real estate investing world, go send me a DM on socials or you can send me an email, which I'll link here in the show notes as well. So thanks so much for watching here, gang. We'll see you in the next video.